All right, so I'm over here at the, uh, I'm at a different spot. I'm over here at a different spot just to keep ripping or running this RC because it's one of those things where I'm trying to prove a little bit of a point that China's China and basically all of our RC cars come from China. So it doesn't necessarily mean that just because it comes from China or just because I call it a China junk RC, that's actually junk. This little vehicle right here, while it's been rebodied, rebodied because I actually like this body better, but not only because of that, but because... <laughs> The other body cracked basically right in half. The whole fenders and hood ripped right off, I think including the windshield. Or maybe actually the windshield was left, which left it only having a back half. This body has been, or proven, to be pretty good. So, got a fully charged pack, and I'm just out here in the frigid cold to kind of prove a little bit of a point that you don't need to spend the big bucks you don't need to spend the big bucks to go ahead and throw a smile on your face or the face of a younger individual so let's go check it out younger individual it's true that's what it is keep people going in the hobby man all right so let's see what this little truck has to offer car maybe i'll call it, it is a truck now there you go. Oh. <laughs> And we crashed. And it's got a foam wheel. I don't know what's over here. I haven't been to really this part other than walking. I've never really kind of taken an RC car over here. So there might be nothing. Ho! Oh. Trying to find like an area where I can do some jumps or something. I think I might see something. It's hard to find stuff, man. Jeez, I almost took myself out. So it is sporting its uh, original uh, tires and wheels right now. Oh! Wobble wheels. Branch. Got rid of it. All right. Yo, know, it's cool as the um, pond is starting to ice over. So that could be something cool coming up soon. 
I don't think it's iced over enough for me to drive it on it. I wonder if I should attempt it. See what it's like. Imagine if it's enough just for this little light RC. I got a wobbly wheel in the front, but it's only because the axle is a little bent. So this is a spring-fed pond too. So I could come across a real light section, but it's been the past couple of days have been pretty frigid. So maybe we can go check it out and see, uh, see if it's any good here. Let's see what we got. some ice spits. So is it gonna be thick enough? It kinda doesn't seem like it is. Is it? Oh, it actually might be. This looks like a wet spot. Is that a wet spot? Oh, it is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be able to have some fun on this pond this year. Oh. This could be cool. Oh, that is an open section right there. Oh. <laughs> There's another open section right there. Dog probably went on there or something. You can see, yeah, dog broke through. <laughs> it's really sketch. I think another breakthrough over here. <laughs> dog breakthrough. Dude, I really think that's broken through. Yeah, I think I need another couple days. Find a couple of little jump spot areas. some jump spots it's like no jump spots man I think I need to bring a ramp Ooh. Toss it in here. 
real quick. Let it go down. Oh, my wife had found this last time. She's all excited because she jumped out of it. <laughs> oh, rocks. How do I go right for that pole? Like seriously. <laughs> Try to avoid it. Oh, really uh, batting a thousand here on uh, not finding any jump. Boy, this, uh, this thing's grippy. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this little uh, thing is gripping. Hey, wheelie. Oh, I didn't want a wheelie. All right, wheelie. Oh, I need a jump, man. I gotta bring one of, grab one of those land waves.
I love the screeches. Oh. Oh, if the fence wasn't there, it'd be an awesome little jump. Oh, low cut, that's it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, though? See what I'm saying? Little, little beater, man. It's a little beater. I think it's pretty slick.